Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Today is finally Thursday. Um, enjoying a second day here in the Pigeon Forge area. Going to go to work this morning. Um, this evening, I don't know what I'm going to do. I wanted to take you guys up in the mountains and let you see a sunset, but we'll have to see what happens with that. I may opt to take you down into the downtown Gatlinburg. I just haven't made up my mind yet. So you'll just have to stay tuned and see. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I just got off. This afternoon, I'm taking you to the mountains. All right guys, we are on our way into the National Park. Okay guys, we are now in the Smoky Mountains National Park. Here's the view from where I am. I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the chimney tops. Um, Chimney Tops is actually a trail that you can do. It is a, um, you can see right here. This is kind of one of the places. And what you're looking for, guys, if you're hiking to, is that right there. Just quite a ways away. I am now up over near Klingman's Dome. Um, I'm in deep grass, so I don't know how far I'm going to go. But you can see some of the gorgeous mountains over here. I wanted to show you this. How beautiful is this, guys? It just, ugh. And then I wanted to bring you guys over here and show you this. And show you guys exactly what I can see. Can you see it? How beautiful. Okay guys, this is Newfound Gap. For the enjoyment of the people, this park was given one half by the people and states of North Carolina and Tennessee and by the United States of America and one half in memory of Laura Spellman Rockefeller by the Laura Spellman Rockefeller Memorial, founded um, by her husband, John D. Rockefeller. So guys, when this was dedicated, the President of the United States at that time came here and actually stood on this monument and um, pronounced this now a national park. It's a bit of history that I think a lot of people forget, um, but he did. He stood here, looked out over this, and spoke to all the people when he dedicated the park. And you can see, I mean, it's a pretty impressive place, guys. Okay guys, so we are on the Appalachia Trail now. We will not go very far because obviously we don't have time to hike a thousand miles. 
but um, you can kind of see what the trails are like when you actually get up here in the Smokies. You have kind of a dirt path. No pets allowed here in the park. Um, you should really be careful about the bears, but you can see. It's really a very nice trail. Um, parts have fences. There's actually a restroom down there, guys. So we are just down from New Found Gap. And I'm going to show you all. And yes, I'll have to invert the, or turn the video sideways so that you all can actually see it. But this is the most spectacular place ever to watch the sunset. Um, people will come up here and you have your professional photographers that will come here. And they will wait for the sun to go down. Because this is pretty much the best spot in the entire park to watch the sunset. Um, sunset's still a couple of hours off. I'm not going to sit here for a couple of hours. But if I'm ever up here and it is sunset, I will absolutely bring you guys. So, Newfound Gap is right over there, not even a mile away. When you come down, it's like the second or third pull out. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it is absolutely one of the most beautiful scenes that you all will see out here. And I actually did a self-portrait here. Um, it was a bit lighter, but I did a self-portrait here that I, I love very much. Um, here is the vertical view or the horizontal view. I gave you the vertical view. Here's the horizontal view of this gorgeous valley. Okay guys, so this probably won't last very long because look, oh, we gotta go around the corner. When you drive these roads, you need to make sure, um, tip for the day is when you drive a road like this, you need to put your car into third gear and um, you need to put your car into third gear and you need to um, basically slow your car down till it's pretty slow and then just let it roll. That's the tip. Look, somebody decided my tip of the day was worth something. I found money. All right, everybody, this is more what you can expect to see, the type of stream. The other one was very, very small. Most streams are more like this. Let's see if I can step over and get you all closer to it. Hey guys, so I am at the Overlook for Gatlinburg and I will show you Gatlinburg. However, I need to tell you all that driving up here, I noticed on the um, wooden wall, wooden uh, barrier there, there is a orange frisbee just a little bit back this way. Now, y'all all remember my big um, beach ball debacle where I just had to have the beach ball and so I pulled over on the side of the road and got it. This one I get to walk back to but I'm going to take you guys with me so you all can see the frisbee when I get close to it. All right, give me I have to walk just a little ways down this road. Okay, I can see the barrier. Now I just have to walk back down the barrier on the outside of it for just a few feet and get the frisbee. Okay guys, I'm within sight distance. Look at this. This is awful. So I'll videotape once I've gotten it and I get back to you guys. A little, okay guys, it's a little frightening because of the fact that it is in fact, um, here we go. We'll examine it when we get back. I've picked it up, but I have to be on this side of the barricade because that side is too um, steep. So I have the frisbee and I am on my way back to where I can hop back over this fence and get into safety and away from all right guys i am now back to safety um back to where there's plenty of shoulder and i don't have to be upset i got the frisbee you can see it and added bonus i didn't run into any bears i guess you guys will have to wait to see what toy i retrieve next that's been lost on the side of the road okay guys so this is downtown gatlinburg 
You can see the mountains surrounding it. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed seeing the mountains. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here because it is about 8.30 their time and I have to get up extra early in the morning. Um, and so I'm going to end the vlog here. I've just got a couple of routine things to do after this like go to Kroger and get some gas. But I really do hope you enjoyed seeing um, Newfound Gap today and um, the beautiful, beautiful passes up there. And I will see you guys tomorrow.